Hello, students who are using Powtoon. I want to show you some changes that Powtoon has made in the interface. It's changing all the time. It's very difficult for me to keep up with it. So please bear with me if the lectures you are seeing are in the old way. I have renewed the courses a few times, but I will tr try to show you how it's looking now. Here, this is when you log in, you come here and you can choose one of these styles. Professional, whiteboard, infographic, cartoon or corporate. Let's start with professional. Then we're going to look for if you are in work, education or personal. Let's say we are in work and we have an announcement to make. Then you see six fields, add an intro, make an announcement, illustrate benefit, add specifics, call to action and add an outro. And if you click on add an intro, you get down here all these different slides. You can start with a blank slide, but you can also say, for instance, add name, use. It will jump over there make an announcement you now you get a different set of slides that you can choose for instance this one illustrate the benefit this one add specifics then you could use a thing like this add a call to action feel free to call us you see, you get a, a set of slides that is especially for this part, the call to action. And then we add an outro and say, for instance, let's go down a little bit here. Let's use this one. Now you have filled all these little slide things. If it's your storyboard ready, then you say continue. And now you come in the working space that you know already so well. Very important is if you want the simple mode, eh, that is what you have now, then you can just change what is over here. If you want another puppet, if you want a, another square or what is it called, uh, another word or another text. But most of the time you might want to use the timeline and move it over here. And now you can change everything. You have a demonstration here. Learn how to use Powtoon in seven clicks. That is very useful. Let's take a look at that. Start tutorial. It will tell you what to do. Choose a character, then make Mr. Picto enter the screen. So it will show you in every step and at the end you have made a small Powtoon. This is one way to start your Powtoon. There is another way. Let's go back to the begin screen. Another way is what we used to have before. We have a template. You can choose them. Teacher introduction. This is all in the student. Let's go to work and say all and now you see all these templates that you can use let's take a look here preview so these are ready-made animations that are very useful and you can use it to just replace the text or the names or uh, eh, like they say here example and you have a well made well designed animation with the right puppets with the right amount of text with the right music and you can make an animation the fastest way like this then you say use and then it fills itself you see now it is filled with scenes itself and now you can go and work on it the same way these are the two ways that you can start with 
how to the new ways. I think it's a great progress that you have a storyboard now. This was the first introduction of the new interface in Powtoon.